welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and in today's video I'm going to be taking you and taking with me. We just got back from Edmonton, geez it's probably like two weeks ago now, but we went to Edmonton for my son's spring break and we hung out with our cousins and stayed at a hotel and they did a lot of swimming and we went to West Edmonton Mall and uh, what else did we do? We did the play place and the kids absolutely loved it and yeah so we had a lot of fun with our cousins in Edmonton and then I also got to go antiquing when we were there because and here where I'm at in northern Alberta we don't really have any antique stores anymore uh, we do have one place that you can it's at a home that you can like book an appointment and go but um, there's no more stores so of course every time we go to Edmonton I have to check out the antique stores so I definitely went and did that on this trip I took some time away from the kids and my husband and I went it was super fun and we went to three different antique stores and I am going to insert the clips from the in, uh, antique stores right now here for you guys who's looking back at me I don't know what happened Guess we weren't meant to be I know we had problems I thought we could fix them But we got tired There's nothing left to do But to say goodbye and try to move on I'll get over you Only wish that I knew how to go on Baby, you and me were so messed up together fireworks thought nothing could break us but oh how we got burned look at us now we scream we fight and no one knows the reason we're both getting out of line mm -mm. now say goodbye and try to move on i'll get over you only wish that i knew how to go on
can take you anywhere, somewhere. We won't be scared. You will see me flying high. I'm staring into your blue eyes. We don't need nobody else. I got you, and you got me too. Okay, so I have a little bit of a haul for you guys. I didn't get a lot of things on this trip like I did the first time we went. Um, <coughs> yeah, not a lot at all actually, but I did find some really good goodies that I can't wait to share with you guys. So the, here, I think. Okay, so the first antique store I went to is called Blue Jar Antiques. And the only thing that I got from that one were these little, are they, are they sock forms or shoes? I don't know what they exactly they are but I've seen a lot of people use these around Christmas time to look like stockings hanging from a mantle or like from a peg rail or something like that and I just thought that they were really cute I do really like the wooden ones that look like this as well or like the wood they're like full wood um, those are beautiful as well I did find a set when I was there but one of the part pieces was broken off on the foot and I just didn't want to pay the price for something that was broken. So I ended up going with the metal ones instead. They took the tag off, so I'm not exactly sure what I paid for these. But there's a set of two. They just have them tied together here at the bottom. But I just think that these would look really cute hanging from like my peg rail or from a mantle or something like that. And I just really liked them, so I grabbed those. So that was the only thing that I got from Blue Jar Antiques. Actually... Yeah, it is actually. Um, and then what was the other one we went to? We went to one called uh, Strath Strathacona Antique Mall. And I only got one item from that one as well, oddly enough. And that was a uh, copper teapot. So I got this one. And it just looks like that. The lid does come off and it has like a wooden handle. And I just love the look of these. I ended up finding two of them and buying two of them. One was from a different store. But um, yeah, I just really like the... I love copper. For any, Like if you've been watching my channel for a little while, you know I do collect a little bit of copper. So um, I had to get a copper teapot. And I just thought that was really cute. The patina on it is... I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. You can kind of see it there. Um, and then on the lid, there's a little bit of patina. I just love when it looks old and well loved and things like that so i have that teapot and then actually all of the other items came from rocky mountain uh, antique shop i didn't get to go to that one on our first trip down to edmonton back i don't know it was back in the summer now it was a while ago uh i didn't get to go to this one and i'm sad that i didn't get to go because i ended up finding most of my treasures at that antique mall so i think that i'm going to make that one a priority on the next one because I just they had so many good items and I just love love all the items that I found okay so one of the first items that I grabbed was this green vintage book I am trying to gather some green ones so that I can maybe do some summer like decorating with green I would really because I have blue right now for spring but for summer i'm thinking green and then on my hutch doing like very neutral with white dishes and then like some greenery but in like the living room all my pillows and stuff i'm thinking i'm gonna do green i'm really loving the look of the green so i think for summer i might try to do some green but anyways that's why i picked up this green book i do have some other green ones over on my bookshelf of vintage books and then yeah, I just think green will be really nice to incorporate into my summer decor. So I grabbed this one. And then another thing that I got, so it doesn't make noise, is this cowbell. And I think that this is just so cute. I don't want to let go of the little bell because it's super loud. But it's super rusty and beautiful and I love it. And it has the ringer or the whatever they call it down there. 
and yeah i'm not sure how much this was because they take the tags off everything so it's kind of hard to tell but i just loved it and thought it would look really nice with my decor style so i grabbed this bell and it would look really nice at uh, christmas time as well i think okay so then the next thing i got was this mixing bowl it is beautiful it's quite large very large um but yeah they took the tag off this one too there is a little bit of a crack in there i don't even know if the camera will be able to pick it up or not but so i probably won't use it for like mixing anything maybe the crack will show on the bottom you can kind of see it it's like right in there um so i'm not going to use this for mixing anything or anything like that where there is a crack in it but i do think it's beautiful to i can even just display some fruit or something in here because it is a beautiful neutral bowl and yeah i just love it so um it has a number four on the bottom does it, what does that mean four liters four gallons oh what does that mean on on the bowls what does that mean i know on the crocs it means the gallons so and this is smaller okay I don't know. It says number four on it though. <laughs> Anyways, if anyone knows why it has a number on it, please let me know. But yeah, I just thought this was a beautiful bowl. And like I said, I love neutral decor, neutral things. So that's kind of where I was going with that when I saw this. So I grabbed that. And then I got another teapot. Like I said, this one definitely looks a little bit more loved and there's more patina on it. Uh, I'm not going to shine this up or anything because I love it just the way that it is. So I'm going to leave it alone because I do love the color of it. But it has a wood handle as well. And I just think that this would look beautiful sitting on the stove. Or I could put one up on my hutch. Endless things with these because I do have two of them. This one definitely is has more patina. I definitely gravitate towards this one more. But yeah, I just love them. I think they're going to look really nice with my decor. And my decor style and then the last thing i got from the thrift or not thrift or the antique stores was this two gallon crock now this is also cracked which means i don't know if you can see it i don't know if you guys will be able to see it but it's cracked as well um you can kind of see it along here you can see that crack um so this is just mainly going to be used for decor. I can put some stems in it, some faux stems. Can't really put any plants in it. I don't know. Maybe. Because I don't feel like plants would really harm the cracks much. But yeah, I just think it's beautiful and I loved it. Cracks and all. So <coughs> I thought I would grab this one. And like I said, all the last few items all came from the Rocky Mountain Antique Mall and I just love that mall it was definitely my favorite out of all the three that we went to so I'm definitely gonna be making sure I go to that one from now on because I missed it on the first one okay and then the last item I had to share with you guys is something that my mother-in-law picked me up in Nova Scotia before she came to visit us here in Alberta and she found them thrifting but they are the set of three milk glass vases so here's the first one, if you guys can see, it's beautiful, has some scalloped edging on the top. And then there's this one, again, the details on these are just beautiful. And then we have this one and a scalloped edge on this one as well. And she picked me up a set of three i think she found them at value village in nova scotia and i love them so she picked them up for me so i'm so grateful for that um she always calls me when she goes because she knows i like uh thrifted i love to thrift and things like that so she always lets me know if she sees something that she thinks i'd, I'd like so anyways that is all to share with you guys today i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up as it really helps me out and definitely consider subscribing if you enjoy thrifting uh, thrifting videos antiquing decorating i do lots of those types of videos here on this channel and i would love it if you would consider subscribing and i will see you in the next one bye guys